What is up, everyone? This is Argon Matrix, and we're going for episode 6 squared of Kirby's Epic Yarn here. And I figure we should just head in here and check things out, because we haven't been here. I don't know if we've ever been in here in the grand scheme of things, but... Yeah, this is our all our percentages on everything. Uh, man, only 30% of the fabric. You must have to buy a lot of the fabric from the store or something. 85% of the cast, which I guess is the enemies and bosses and characters and whatnot. Stuff, I think that's like the treasures and the furniture. 39%. You must have to buy a lot of that too. Uh, metals, yup. Oh, that's what that's why I'm getting the gold medals. Yeah, I was wondering. Alright, tunes and flicks. Because those are the cutscenes, that's cool. Mm, yeah, so I thought I'd just show this off really quick. Because, uh, just to give you guys an idea of how close we are to getting all this done. Ideally, I want to have all of them at 100% by the time I'm done with this thing. But I don't know, with all the stuff that you have to apparently buy from the stores in Quilty Plaza here, or Patch Plaza, um, it could be, it could take a lot and a lot of things that you guys really don't need to see in order to do that. Like, if I just go and buy things, I don't have to do that all on camera. Unless I want to show off the actual fabrics themselves. Alright, Snowy Fields. I do love these snowy worlds. Mm, oh, we're into the snow worlds. Yeah, of these mini games now, which means, and the snow world was the last world we just did, right? Right before the space world. So we are nearing completion on these mini games. I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm just not completely wrong on that or something. Crap. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's grab you. Oh, these snowmen respawn. Is that how I'm gonna have to do this? By killing all the respawning snowmen? That's kind of crazy. That's an interesting concept. I don't know if I really like it. Yeah, they just fall from the sky. The world's biggest snowflakes. That's cool. I remember reading up one time on, the on like the actual world's biggest snowflake, and it was like, like I expected it to be like the size in terms of the diameter it was. It was like a, I'm like 15 inches in diameter or something. But it was like 15 inches thick apparently too, and I'm like, what? At that point, could it even be classified as a snowflake anymore? Wouldn't it be a snowball that just fell from the sky? I don't even know. Oh, get this guy! Yes, that's it. Man, I didn't. I wasn't even looking at the timer there. I don't. Know how, I don't know how much time I had left. Couldn't have been that long though. Fifty-eight, fifty. Yeah, we had a minute to do that. So we had one and a half seconds before the end there. Pulling up the punch, you know. Mm, is that is that just like a black fabric? Midnight dot fabric. Are there dots on that? I don't know. That reminds me of that one picture I drew in MS Paint that one time, back in like the year 2000 or something. I just I just like I like drawing night skies back then in MS Paint because it was like the easiest thing to do ever, but they were also just like really beautiful in their simplicity. I was a poetic child, what can I say? Alright, toy tracks. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> I always remember this level because it's the, it, the, like, the thumbnail for one of the videos of the LP is this level. It's one of these toy soldiers. And the episode is called, like, Meow or something, because that's where my cat interrupted me for, like, the first time ever or something. It's just so stupid. It's like, Meow. It's like, yeah, they heard the meow. You don't have to exaggerate it like that. So, I don't know. I've had some really pretty stupid enemy... Not enemy names. Uh, episode names for my LPs. Well, what are you going to do? You can't be so witty every time, I guess. Oh, man. I forgot how, like, uh, how you have to time everything here. Because, like, the whole level is just moving around. You have to time it to... Alright, let's, let's do this. See if this will benefit me anytime. I don't think it will, but. Uh, ride the duck! No, that, that probably was not worth it whatsoever. Well, I guess. Uh, dude! Dude! Mara! Mara! You sniped me, Mara! What can, oh my goodness. If this was eBay. I don't know, man. You sniped my alpha alarm clock right away. I looked over and I saw my clock, or not my, but like the amount of space I have left on my uh, hard drive in terms of like recording ability, and it's five hours and zero minutes. And it's just like, can't you just say five hours? Is the zero minutes really necessary? Does that have to be there? 
it's the be all end all. It's like, well, they might assume that, the, that five hours is just rounded down, and it's actually five hours and like 20 minutes, but no, we have to exaggerate that fact. I don't know. I'm just being stupid now, I know. But yeah, so it looks like I had to bring this duck down, because there was no way I was getting up to that high platform otherwise. Uh, yeah, not from what I can see. So there we go. And that's the one. That's the ticket. Every time I say that now, every time I say that's the ticket, I think of, like, the golden ticket, and that reminds me that I still have to watch those movies. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, boy. So it makes me feel really guilty every time I do it. Alright. Ooh, that's very bubblegummy. Japanese bubblegum pop? No, the happy train fabric. <laughs> happy train. Like Thomas the Tank Engine. God, I loved that show as a kid. I could not get enough of Thomas. Mm, but it was kind of bittersweet, too, because there was also a bully in my school named Thomas. And he picked on me a lot. It was very sad. I think he still actually goes to my school. He's fine now, though. Frosty Wheel. Sweet. Ah, uh, Frosty the Dope Man was a happy, jolly soul. Alright. Ten enemies? Oh, for a minute I thought this said ten minutes to defeat 45 enemies. I was like, what, ten minutes? Are you serious? But no, no. That's sadly not true. Is this another one where all the snowmen are just gonna fall from the sky again? That was funny. <laughs> Just falling already with their hats and everything. It's crazy. Uh, dude, no. Don't screw this up. Don't bamboozle me now. Dude, you're bamboozling. Jeez. Oh, yeah, this is the one where you turn to the bobsled when you dash. That's cool. Uh, did I miss something here? Oh, there's a wheel up there. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we got this. Not so bad. I just didn't realize that there was a wheel that high up. Man, that was really close to the top of the, of the screen. Hmm. Wait a second, it didn't say that there's an, another stage. Does that mean I'm done Buster Levels for now? I'll, I'll have to check that just to be sure, but that's what it might seem like here. Of course, we still got Mara to do. Snowflakes fabric, that's cool. I thought that was like kanji on that fabric or something. Kanji that I without a doubt could not translate for the life of me. Yeah, look at this. Clear Mysterious UFO. That's the next level, so that'll be fun. I remember someone in a comment, they said that I'm going to have to like put a whole episode aside for Mysterious UFO, which kind of scares me a little bit, because, like, oh man, it's either going to be a really long level or a really hard level. Or both. I don't even want to imagine. I don't want to imagine. I don't want to see for myself. Mushroom run. Mmm. Corre, Kirby, Corre. Alright, yeah. Is this the same area that everything is in all these minigames? It looks like it, kind of. That whole area with all the mushrooms and crap. Yeah, look at this. So we just gotta ascend, is that the idea? Not so bad. Not in so many words. Not so that's not an expression to use. That was completely out of context. You fool. I love these swinging mushrooms. They're great. They kind of look like banana splits, if you look at them just right. But they're like banana splits with a spoon in them, like stuck in the banana. I guess not really banana splits, because that they're missing the ice cream bit, but... There we go. <laughs> that victory music was a little bit delayed. I don't know what that was. It was like Marrow was just in utter disbelief. She's like, oh my god, you just beat me. What? So it took like a while for the victory music to cue in, because of the dramatic tension. I love the color scheme of this room. The periwinkle and like the... It's it's like purpley caramel star fabric. That sounds really delicious right now. Alright, next up. Ah, uh, Sweets Park. Another very iconic level of this game. I don't know. I, I Maybe I'm just thinking they're iconic because they've been in like every single minigame variation up to this point. Like Sweets Park and Mushroom Run. By the way, I was looking at the other mini games uh, just out of curiosity as like a uh, dude. I almost got hit by that arrow. That would have been bad news. 
I was looking at the other mini games just out of curiosity to, to see if like I was missing any of them like right now, and I'm not. I ha I'm all, I'm all cut up, cut up. dude. I'm all caught up on both of those, on all three of those. I mean. Um, but one thing that kind of terrified me is that the next carry stage is um it's rated at five stars difficulty, which is I think the first one, the first out of any of the mini games that's rated at five stars. So that's going to be pretty exciting. But I don't know. I guess it's all uh, dependent on your actual skill within the game, like based on the player, not on the difficulty itself. Or on the difficulty rating. Their difficulty ratings are all out of whack in these minigames. I don't know what it is. Alright, almost there. Whoa! What? No, 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 no! Oh my god. <laughs> I, like, went right past the goal. That was like Pecole in that Mario 64 video. <laughs> you ran right past the Koopa quick thing. Can't really blame him, though. I did that on my first, like, uh... I had no idea for, like, the first, like, few... For, like, a few weeks when I was playing the game as a kid. I could not figure that out. I couldn't figure that Koopa the Quick Race out. Because I didn't see the flag half the time. Or, like, all the time. Cookie, cookie, fabric. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, qua, cookie. Mm, that's a word that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Qua, Q-U-A. Like, I get how it's used, I just don't know why it's, like, like, science qua science. Like, what is that? Oh, well. Reach the finish line first. Oh, Melody Town. Another iconic... Ah, oh, man. We're getting all these in here. It's great. With these Russian guys, too. Oh. Man, that's not gonna make any sense to anyone who's, like, watching this video for the first time. Or if this is, like, the first of my video for someone. Or whatever, you get what I mean, I'm sure. I always I always think of that like uh like at, while I'm editing a video it's like how would someone react if they have ne to this video if they have never seen any of my videos before this one like if this first video of mine that they're ever seeing in their life like how in the world would someone just like the the average person react to that what am I doing I can just go over here <laughs> apparently Mara is taking a pleasure cruise though over there because I don't know she it looked like she just Went on less more scenic route. Oh well. This is a pretty cool level though, so I can't really blame her. There we go. Kirby wins. Man, these are getting easier. I don't believe this. Where's Mara? She's normally here. Oh well. Alright, brand new racing stage. But you know what? I think we're gonna have to call it at that, guys. I think I've got a little bit to cut out, so. But I'm like just on the verge of 13 minutes here, so I should probably end it off after we see this fabric. Man, did that one hurt a little bit, Kirby? You had to scratch your head. Treatland fabric. Alright, sweet. So next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we should be able to finish up these Mara games at long last. These crazy Mara games, you know. Mm, I don't believe it. We're almost through, guys. Just hang in there. We've held on for so long, we're almost done with the mini games. It sounds like there's an ordeal. They're actually fun, but I don't know if they're that much fun to watch. Okay. So thanks everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix, and I'll see you somewhere over the rainbow. Thank you and good night.